Hi guys, all right, this napkin that we're gonna do today is gonna be one uh, for a more elegant table. And we're gonna use our flimsy flowing type material napkin. It's got little silk fibers running through it. And this has a little bit of a, a print to it. You can see the print, a little design on it in the threading. Okay, well, as always, we'll take our print side down. I'm gonna begin by folding the far corner, fold it in about two inches. Then we're gonna take it and fold it back about two inches. So what we're creating is an accordion fold. we folded the whole napkin into an accordion style fold. What we're gonna do now is take one end of it and fold it in about one third of the way over in our napkin. In our, <laughs> one third over on our napkin. I have a wide mouth uh, glass here to use. Folded side, you wanna take that and put it inside of your glass. Leave a little bit of a, the fold out. Then take the, the back end, which I'll call the tail, and fold it over. Using the folds you have in there, just fold it over. Isn't that a cute design? What you can also do with this design is you can take a napkin ring and put it inside just to give it a little bit more of a definition. Isn't that cute? That's really cute on a um, elegant table setting. Nice flowy napkin. Got a little design to it. You may use a colored napkin. Or you can even use a design that has little sparklies on it. Isn't that cute? And your designed patterned plate. That makes a nice place setting. The steps for creating the second design is also the same steps you can use to create another design. All right, we're gonna take your napkin and do the same thing as all the uh, instructions, is fold your right side, or place your right side facing down. I'm gonna fold it down like so. And then fold it over and I'm gonna try to crease it, try to keep from creasing it and fold it over so that it's a square. We'll gonna leave our open ends down here and I fold it in. We're gonna press it, I mean fold it down so that the tip is to the center. And fold over one side so we make this shape. There's your open edges, the folded top, and your open individuals. Okay? So I'm gonna take the top one, fold it over, and then we're gonna fold it again, fold the tip back. And let's take this whole thing, flip it over. So the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. Fold it back and then fold the tip back. We're gonna take this end, put it down inside of our glass. The end that's sticking up is the one that has all the open edges. All right, we've got it down inside our wine glasses and our open tips are at the top. We're gonna open our tips 
pull them back. Take the inside ones, fold them away from each other. Fold it down. Fold it down, like so. Then take the outside tips and fold them back in. Okay, just like that. All right, design. And here's another way to create a design using the same steps. I'm gonna take the outside ends together at the same time, take them in, pull them together, and down into your glass, creating this poof. Thanks again for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, now's the time to do that. And hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Thank you for being a part of Ideally Simple Decor. Have a blessed day. When leaving a comment, please be respectful.